Yeah, um, so this really, in many ways, this it's, it's a very important issue. It gets at the heart of uh, which has plagued the industry, I would say. Uh, so, so the critical issue for algae is not that it not that it doesn't make a lot of interesting lipids and it could be used as a biofuel. Ultimately, it comes down to cost and how you would grow that much algae that would be required, you know, to produce uh, you know, the millions and millions of gallons that you would need for transportation fuels. The cost ultimately boils down to how would you grow them at scale? You know, because you need acres and acres really need millions of acres uh, to do this. And so how do you build a greenhouse, essentially, that's that large? And so there are, there are complicated bioreactors where they might have you know, plastic tubes and things that are suspended in the air or on the ground or something like that. So that ends up being a little bit more expensive. There's another type of bioreactor, and I guess it depends a little bit on what you're thinking about, which I don't know exactly without seeing a picture but another thing is called an, uh, a raceway pond or an open raceway pond. Have you guys heard that term? Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So you're you're on that too. Uh, so that's pr what people view as probably the cheapest way to do 